And then while the chief of the Naval Star Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala Admiralty Level Medal has commended ex service trainees during the passing out Trainee Cause 1 2024 at the Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center in Oshodi. The trainees felt accomplished in their chosen fields as former service members having now completed their service and embarking on the next phase of their careers as a transition into new national endeavors. A correspondent has more. The personal ceremony featured 725 trainees concluding their service, comprising 535 Nigerian Army, 865 Nigerian Navy, and 25 Nigerian Air Force personnel. Of the total, 20 were female trainees, while the remaining 705 were male. The Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, Admiralty Medal, said the armed forces hold the retired trainees in high esteem as they will continue to serve the military in diverse ways of national significance. Five years is a long time, but like I said in my speech, this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of another section or part of their life. That is integration into civil life. And I also reminded them that by the nature of their engagement, as you retire today, you are transmuting into the reserve. So effectively, you are still part of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and you can be called upon at any time to contribute to your quota. We still require their knowledge, their expertise, and from time to time, we will have reason to bring some of them back, either as form of instructors to impart knowledge on the younger ones, or to contribute in any of our operations. And above all, we are determined to make sure that we continue to support them so that they will have reason also to continue to uh, be patriotic and to be loyal to the Federal Republic of Nigeria who has provided all these facilities for them throughout the 35 years. Speaking, Commandant of the Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center, Air Vice Marshal Adeni Lola discussed several initiatives the 50 NCUT accommodation units gifted by the Defence Chief and 50 hectare agricultural land at Ekpe promised by the Chief of the Naval Staff and an award received from the Presidency as well as Nefric's efforts to accommodate, train and empower widows and their children. Giving attention, for instance, the Chief of Defence Staff, General C.J. Musa, Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, is committed to building a 50 room and suite accommodation for senior officers nominated for training at NAFRI. This will enable the center to conduct the mid level and senior level officers' entrepreneurship and management courses more frequently. There are also two trainees' post tests recently completed by the Chief of Army Staff and Chief of the Air Staff to address trainees' accommodation challenge at the center. I'm also delighted to mention that after I visited our special guest of honor in his office of months back, soliciting assistance in the development of NAFRIC 50 hectare agricultural land at the fair, the Chief of the Naval Staff requested for billion of quantities for the construction of a 60 room hostel trainees accommodation on the land. For a start, following approval at the presidency, the senior special assistant made available to NAFRIC financial awards ranging from 2 million naira to 400,000 Naira to back up the various categories of awards that will be given to recipient, recipients today. Not forgetting the goodwill messages that poured in. Therefore, is to deliver his goodwill message to you, esteemed participants. On behalf of the Nigerian Armed Forces, the Chief of Defense Staff extends his warmest congratulations to each and every one of you 
on this occasion. Today marks a significant milestone in your journey as you graduate from this prestigious institution, equipped with new skills and knowledge to embark on the next chapter of your lives. The CDS commend your dedication, hard work, and commitment to furthering your capacity development through this program. Your resilience and determination are a testament to your unwavering spirit and dedication to service. Remember that from today, as you walk out of this edifice, you become special ambassadors of the military and indeed the service for which you are intended. This is our race in different professional schemes to enable them to establish their own business. Prepare salaries for employment and new life after retirement. We also provide adequate counseling for successful engagement training. It it's feels exciting because I stand out among <laughs> I was I stood out among all the female because I was the only female in the auto mech workshop. Fortune to learn auto diagnosis in this place, which few people know about it and being in the military has been so much it taught me so many things about discipline endurance and lots more the top trainees received outstanding awards and cash gifts which were presented to them by esteemed special guests coordinator nafrigoa past commandants including retired air vice marshal edilubo and others destiny momo plus TV news. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.